We have a good community here that we're gonna, we're, we've been helping each other out. Um, and some of our neighbors have generators if we are without power and we're all just getting as prepared as we can with food and supplies. You gotta get hand sanitizer. All right. Um, yeah, because one thing, you know, if we're without power we're gonna and water, we're not gonna be able to get clean. So I have, I got baby wipes so we can take battle showers or battle baths or, um, and then other things to stay clean. Um, you know, we got snack things to keep the kids snack occupied. Games. Um, we put all our chickens in their utility room and made a nice little space for them in there. Maybe, or maybe Scott came in here. No. But yeah, we have put them inside so they'll be safe from the wind and the rain. And actually, he did most of this. <laughs> <laughs> he made most of this happen. Um, but we kind of pooled our resources and our, our ideas to kind of make it nice. And we don't want to shock their systems. There's a lot of people in this neighborhood who have lived here for generations and past hurricanes. past hurricanes and it's never really flooded right here before. Um, so we're not really all that worried. A hotel with an open room that would allow three dogs would, you know, probably a far travel we'd have to make to find that.